Yo, it's Guido coming at you with a tactics talk. You know, sometimes you load in, you head to the meta position, and you realize that it is time to get out of dodge. We will call this one Get Out of Dodge. You can see that I've loaded into Sacred Valley in my WZ-132 Alpha Tier 9 Chinese Light Tank. And I am headed down to the southeast corner with a decent force of friends. And we're going to work down, or up, rather, near the temple at the top of this hill here. And as we truck up here, I'm feeling fairly confident. We have a decent amount of friends coming with us. You'll see, though, that when I get up there, only a couple of us actually go up to the top. The rest seem to be content sitting back. Exactly what they're waiting for, I am uncertain. But we will go ahead and head up into here. And I'm starting to look around, but I'm seeing quite a few people come in here, quite a few red team members. I'm kind of see if I can get a shot. Maybe that 13, 105 will poke and I can get a get a shot and back up. There's a 251. I do notice the 125 is coming. Now I'm not feeling so good about this. So I'm going to let the boys from Monty Parthon take this one over. Thank you. I've done it again. I warned you, but did you listen to me? Oh, no, you knew it all, didn't you? Oh, it's just a harmless little bunny, isn't it? Well, it's always the same. I always oh, tell them, up. do they listen to me? Hey. Oh, no. Shut up! Well, there you have it. Well, Run away. <laughs> all right, so we all ran away. <laughs> the whole team. I don't know if I've ever seen that happen, where an entire flank of a, of a pretty good force, just every single one of them decided it was time to run away. <laughs> and it actually works out. We're going to come over here. That's a crit, no damage. Working on the Centurion, we've got the uh, pilot running around over there. Got a friend running into me for some unknown reason. Why three guys stacked up behind me, I don't know. Guess nobody wants to take a hit, and we're working on the Centurion here. Guy's got a pretty good reload, pretty quick, and he goes down pretty fast. We still have the issue in the southeast where we just ran away, so that is a nut we're going to have to crack a little while later. I initially thought I might go over there, but there's so many guns. That's not a great idea, so I'm going to head back over this way, see what I can do. And then I realize, you know what, we've cleaned out the heavy area. Our heavies are straight through, so let's just work around the edge of this edges of this fight for a moment. Oh, there we go. So we've got some guys coming that chased us off the hill, and they are trying to figure out where on earth did they go. And, of course, they don't want to go rushing down into the bottom of the valley and get waxed by all of us who went and hid. And I'll continue to work around the edges of this battle. The JT is one of the things that's got me concerned. I finally find him right there. He cannot see me, which is good. But I don't have any real good shots. So I'm going to try to get a little bit further on his flank here and drive up on a rock. This is not really going to go into his side or into his bottom plate there. So that's about the worst spot I can be for shooting a JT with this tank. I wish I'd have continued around to the left and got up on his side. Being a little bit passive about it, but I end up getting that shot. And there goes the RU. So we are not winning by a bunch, but we are ahead, and we've got them pushed back into their cap. And what they did once they pushed us off that hill was they realized that our heavies had come through in the heavy area up there in the northwest. So a lot of them had gone back to defend. So we'll come back up here. That guy's trouble if he ends up seeing me, but he's way over there, so I can't really get a shot. Take a quick one and now head up. I should have kept trucking on that one. 13105 is working up top. We've still got an IS-4 down below, but they do have that 50B. We've got to sort him out wherever he is, or the 1105. Sorry. We've got to sort out that guy if we have any chance of winning. See the patents coming here, so I'm going to see if I can get a free shot on him without him knowing that I'm there. 
and I do so, that works out. He's kind of focused on the 13105, feels like he can go in there and get him, so he's ignoring me. That's great for me. Pop him again, and he ends up ramming himself to death. And now we've got this 4202 down below. And oops, now there's a 13105 of their own coming up top here. I'm going to come around and try to help this 5051. He does a good job ramming the 1315 and takes a lot of hit points off of him. That way he can win that HP duel, win that trading duel. That's one thing to think about, getting those rams in to, especially if you're the heavier tank, to more evenly trade or come out ahead. The 4202 does not know I'm here. I'm going to try to sneak by him because it's going to be a tough shot right there with him hold down, just shooting his turret. So I'd like to get by without him seeing me, which I manage. I'm going to come to this little spot here, which I know is there. That's going to give me a shot on his side. I'm just going to let that zoom in, and we'll take him out. Still not one. Looking good, though. We've got him pushed back. WZ, 50M, T34. We just got to track these guys down. I cut a little left there. I'm not exactly sure. I thought maybe one might have a shot on my side, but they're so far over in the corner. And two of them die really quickly. So now I'm just raging down here to see if I can get a little more damage in. But the T-34 takes some pretty heavy hits. There's a lot of guys ahead of me. I do actually get near to taking the shot, but just as I get the gun on, he dies. Takes a couple more hits. I don't know why this Indian Panzer isn't just pushing in to kill him. He's looking at me, so I figure he's probably going to blap me right here. Can I just get there? No, oh, just as I fire, he ends up dying. What, behind the rabbit? It is the rabbit. So there's uh, Monty Python again for you. <laughs> so, run away. Sometimes you've just got to get out of dodge. I basically just followed the team on that one. I would have rather have stayed. I think we probably could have beat them based on the tanks we had, but based on the players running away, I will head back with them. We'll sweep back down into the middle of the map and clean up some of their tanks there. And interestingly, because we all went together and went after them there, this ended up working out, and we are able to spread out a little more after that, clean these guys up and kill them. Well, I hope this helped you guys. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. I don't suggest run away every time, but sometimes it works. We will see it.